I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this video shows how you can connect to your Raspberry Pi home automation server using PuTTY and SSH. So I have a server set up on a Raspberry Pi, and as I showed in another video, it's connected to my home network by Wi-Fi. But say I want to go in and actually add some code to that server or set up a script to run on a periodic interval or something like that. The easy thing I have to do here is basically just log into my router first. So I've connected in here to my Netgear router. And I'm just going to look for the IP address on my network of that Raspberry Pi. So here it is. And I'm just going to copy that address. And then I'm going to bring up PuTTY here. You can download this for free, it's really easy. I'm just going to put it in here to hostname, put in that address. It's going to ask me if I want to connect. I can say yes. And basically here the username by default for the Raspberry Pi is Pi, and the password is Raspberry. Very creative. And now I'm connected to the board, and I can send commands. I'll give it the uh, ls command to list the files and directories in here. And then it's really simple if I wanted to create a new script and basically just code right here on the Pi. Um, but another thing that I can do, and you would normally probably be doing to put new information on there, is actually to um, write some code in another program and then move it over to the Pi. So let's just pretend here's a script, really complicated Python script that I want to run over there. Um, and all I have to do if I want to really easily transfer stuff uh, over using PuTTY is I can create a new file here. So I'll say I'll do the nano command. I'll call it hello world. It brings up the very simple nano editor here on the Pi. And then I can just copy this program, go over here, and then I just right click. And it's going to fill that text right in here to nano. I'm going to do control O to write out the file, control X to exit, and I'll list the directory again. There's my hello world Python script. So I can go ahead and run that. And lo and behold, it works. So obviously this is just a really simple script, but I could actually pretty easily just transfer an even larger script over using that same right-click method in PuTTY. And of course there's better ways to do this if you're transferring entire directories or large files. I could set up an FTP server here on the Pi, and then I could basically move files over you know, in bulk doing that. I can also use some commands through SSH to actually move um, move files from my local computer as well, and PuTTY even gives you a utility that you can use to do this kind of thing. So this is really just for kind of quick and dirty uh, scripts that you want to very easily and quickly move over. But again, you know, you probably should set this up to be even a little more complicated. But um, here I am now on the Pi, and again, I can run any of my normal Linux commands.